Hey there, Eden here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about user experience and user interface in generative AI applications. So building the backends of our generative AI applications is one challenge. And we can spend a lot of time in the backend building our agent and building our RAG system and making sure that the output that we give the user is the correct output, that it's trustworthy and a quality output. However, this is just one piece of the puzzle. In order to have our application complete, we need to create a beautiful user interface and a very natural user experience for our users to be able to trust our application. And trust between users and generative AI applications is something that we need to work for because users know that generative AI applications are, let's just say, flaky and they're not always yielding the correct responses and they can fail sometimes and there is a huge challenge of doing this correctly. And in this video, I'll be featuring Copilot Kit and Copilot Kit is an amazing open source which helps us bridge this gap of creating beautiful interfaces but more importantly, more natural user experiences in our generative AI applications. And I think Copilot Kit offers us today the best building blocks for building a beautiful generative UI. And when I talk about generative UI, I mean in general the user interface of our generative AI application, which is based on the LLM. And I think that in order to create this trust between the user and our system, then we need to be transparent. So the user needs to know where does the answer come from. And for example, if we're building an agent, then we need to be transparent on which tools does the agent have and which tools the agent is using to generate the answer. Why did it chose that tool? So the reasoning behind the agent, maybe some intermediate calculations until we get the final answer so we can see how the final answer is being curated. And even in a RAG application, we need to be transparent and to show the user which documents did we use to generate the answer so it will know where it's grounded from. And all of this is going to create better trust between the user and our generative AI application. All right, let's talk now about Copilot Kit. And by the way, all of the demos you saw in these videos are taken from the Copilot Kit documentation. They're open source. And in my opinion, they're pioneering right now the landscape of generative UI and generative UX. So in the repository, you can skim around and you can find some starter kits to help you implement beautiful frontends for your backend generative AI applications. So this is not a full stack course, so I won't be going into that deeply. I'm simply introducing now the topics, but overall, they simply introduce a bunch of components and hooks that we can use in our front ends, which makes it super easy to build generative UI and to build very good user experience on top of our generative AI applications, which is powered with LangChain or with LangGraph, etc. I want to elaborate on the support for LangChain and LangGraph applications. And they introduce co-agents, which seamlessly integrates with LangGraph backends. And I think the video here by Ariel from Copilot Kit, which I will link in this video, is demonstrating this beautifully. And when we have a LangGraph application, so a lot of things and a lot of moving parts are happening. We have the state, which is constantly changing. We have intermediate results in that state. We have nodes that are executing, maybe nodes that are executing in parallel. We also have human in the loop where we stop the execution of the graph and we go to take the user input and then we want to resume the execution of the graph. So a lot of moving parts here and to build a front end for this, to be honest, it sounds like a nightmare. But Copalkit did a very good job to implement components for all of that I discussed. All built on top of LangGraph applications, which I think is super important and it's super easy to integrate both LangGraph with Copilot Kit. I just want to be clear, I don't have any affiliation with Copilot Kit. I genuinely believe this is a good project and I think they're doing an amazing job in the field of generative UI. 